talk about well where I uh, am planning to uh, take the Go Ethereum Lite client, how I want to basically integrate it into this new E2 beacon chain uh, proof of stake uh, ecosystem. And uh, well, yeah, so basically, uh, yeah, so what, uh, what we have right now is this uh, kind of uh, ancient, uh, kind of still experimental uh, LES protocol in Ingat uh, that works with proof of work, and obviously this needs to be uh, changed now. And uh, so uh, uh, I, I have like uh, short-term and longer-term plans about this. Uh, first of all, of course, I want to make uh, Go Ethereum light mode uh, work uh, with proof of stake, and. Uh, well, the easiest way to do this is still to basically uh, improve uh, Elias, bring out a new Elias version that uh, somehow works uh, together with the beacon chain and, and works uh, with proof of stake. Uh, also, uh, there's going to be some advantages of doing this uh, in addition to the work uh, because uh, uh, it needs a lot less bandwidth to uh, sync the beacon chain uh, and therefore maybe we can uh, already instantly improve the uh, server bandwidth availability problems that have been usually present with LES. And uh, later, since, since it, this is always already going to be a major overhaul, uh, I also have uh, plans to finally move away a little bit from this old uh, client server architecture. So like uh, some data can be propagated through multiple steps if needed. And yeah, I will talk about that later more. Uh, also, uh, since Elias uh, uh, is based on uh, this old dev P2P stack, uh, I don't want to necessarily stick to that forever. Uh, uh, also, now there's the uh, portal network emerging, and and uh, and it has this uh, very uh, reasonable design with uh, with uh, UTP over UDP over disk V5, whatever. But uh, it, it makes sense, I think, for 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 especially for state access, it's uh, it can be very good. So so uh, yeah, uh, over time uh, we can probably move away from the uh, Dev P2P stack also, and and. Uh, and so these are just uh, transport protocols. It's let's just use whatever is more practical for everyone. And yeah, a little bit more about how this is going to be, how Beacon Chain is going to be integrated into GET. So uh, earlier we had the uh, the light server, which is a GET full node and has all had all the data, and the client just connected to it, and that was fine if it happened. <laughs> and yeah, now, there's, now there's, there's the beacon chain. It has its own uh, light client API, which provides the uh, sync committees and, 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 and the, the sync, I mean, sync committee updates and everything. So uh, one possibility here on this little drawing on the right side, uh, uh, to, so either to have every LES client to connect to an LES server through the dev PTP protocol and also somehow connect uh, to a, uh, the Light Client Trust API. And maybe since already there are some, some, some connection policies and, and, and limitation systems uh, uh, in place in LDS, which actually helps quite a lot with the server, server availability stuff. And like having a different, two connection models for one client would be like a problem usually. So it's maybe easier. And that's how I'm currently implementing this thing, is that LES servers connect to their own. So usually full nodes will have a beacon node connected anyway. And uh, if they provide a, a light client API, which uh, uh, I know that uh, Lodestar or, uh, does, so I, right now I'm experimenting with uh, Lodestar's client, but uh, I know that uh, other uh, clients' implementations are uh, working on this too. So. Maybe at one point this can be properly standardized and everything, but uh, so the thing is that uh, somehow the beacon node uh, provides an API and the LES servers will uh, fetch the important data from there. And the, for the time being, <laughs> yeah, we take the new formats, as I said, everything, and then encode it in RLP, which is funny, but uh, this can change later, whatever. It's, it's just uh, more practical right now, and it will be served to the LES clients. And uh, 
Yeah, as I mentioned, uh, uh, if there's uh, also also like like advantages of this chain the change because earlier we needed to header sync to verify consensus and this was expensive both uh, CPU wise and also bandwidth especially bandwidth wise it was like almost 600 bytes uh, uh, for each execution header and and uh, and if you wanted to sync up after several uh, weeks or months of being offline then um, uh, it was quite a lot of time and quite a lot of bandwidth, and uh, usually the connection was broken before you could even properly sync up. So now uh, you have to sync one uh, sync committee, which is about 25 kilobytes uh, per 8K slot. So it's basically about uh, three bytes per slot uh, to do this uh, forward syncing. And uh, then uh, there are the, the header announcements uh, uh, signed by by the sync committee. Now these are beacon header uh, announcements, of course, but the beacon header has the beacon state, which uh, has the reference to the execution header. So, yeah, this is just a technicality, but this can prove the also the execution headers. And um, yeah, uh, there are also uh, the also new 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 uh, client modes become possible. So earlier we just had a, a light server and light client, and uh, yeah, we had a kind of unfinished ultralight client mode also, which didn't really do anything useful until now. But basically, what this this, this uh, so proof of stake will allow us to make this make this work properly. So so. Uh, the, so if you only want to be a client, then it's going to be a lot cheaper. Also, uh, it's a possi possible to run like uh, the full node server with a beacon node connected, but uh, there's, it's also possible to basically be a light client on the beacon chain and run a full node of the ex on the execution layer, which will allow uh, node operators to run, get full node without a beacon node, uh, and basically get the new headers from 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 the light protocol, uh, or uh, well, also it's a possibility to to run a light client that so with, so uh, a light client that doesn't uh, do uh, execution chain processing, but it uh, da it it downloads all the uh, blocks and and provides them to the previously mentioned full nodes and yeah, a lot of combinations are possible and probably in the first iteration uh, we want um, like. Uh, of uh, like millions of, 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 of combinations of client modes because that would be just a chaos, so we should properly test these and everything, but uh, there are new possibilities and we'll see uh, what we can uh, realize and what will be useful in practice. Now, uh, just a quick, uh, a few words about uh, what this, uh, this design needs from the, from the Beacon Node uh, APIs. Basically nothing really special. So yeah, it needs uh, uh, beacon headers, uh, the uh, beacon head updates. Here I want to mention that uh, uh, in the current designs, usually the uh, in in each beacon beacon block, the last uh, beacon header signed by the sync committee is included, which is fine, and this means that the beacon head uh, beacon chain API provides. Uh, a signed header for the last slot, uh, which is kind of okay, but um, here I would propose some improvements. So it, it would be possible to uh, basically be connected to the to the sync committee gossips all the time and uh, and and gather all the all the all the signatures and and con continuously uh, aggregate them and and. Uh, basically provide a, a signed uh, uh, header as soon as possible, which would probably be a few seconds after it was uh, proposed. So, yeah. Uh, so right now, with, the f with, 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 with this uh, first implementation, we have a one, one block delay with the light clients, but that's avoidable. And uh, yeah, basically, uh, we need, of course, the, the sync committee updates and uh, some parts of the beacon chain. Uh, but uh, since the light server is uh, uh, constantly uh, syncing from the, the beacon uh, node API, uh, 
uh, we don't need to access anything that's old, because I know that uh, the beaconers usually don't store all the beacon states, but uh, the alias design won't need this, because uh, as soon as blocks are processed, it will just uh, fetch all the beacon state that's needed and store it locally, at least the parts which will be needed for, for, for serving clients. Okay, now I don't want to like go into yeah, <laughs> all the details with this, but uh, just uh, real quickly, so uh, what, what type of new data structures are needed uh, to uh, work, with the, work with the beacon chain. So yeah, obviously there are the sync committee proofs, which are uh, basically a beacon header signed by the previous committee, which has a reference to the next committee route, and ideally, it is also like a, a, a finalized header. So basically, there's a there's, there's a signed header that references a finalized header, which re references the next committee route. And yeah, so these are needed needed for the forward syncing. Uh, obviously, there are these uh, signed headers which are propagated through uh, alias. And uh, there are these uh, previously mentioned parts of the beacon state that are needed. So usually for each uh, slot, uh, we need the, this latest execution payload header that will block hash uh, uh, value, which references the execution header. And uh, yeah, for some reason, the latest block header is also needed because, because internally, uh, the headers are, uh, the, the slots are referenced by state root, but yeah, that's just details. And uh, there are some uh, 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 fields that are only needed for recent slots that, uh, because uh, uh, we, uh, Elias only uses these uh, historic roots and state root uh, structures because um, from the latest, uh, latest beacon header, you can on, only prove the latest exec header. And I want to get to stay fully functional, which means uh, it has access to, it can prove uh, earlier uh, blocks in the canonical chain. Uh, that might be necessary because you want to find an old transaction, and uh, if you want to find a transaction by hash, then the server can uh, prove that, okay, it's included in this block and it's canonical. And for this, uh, we are uh, storing, uh, basically, basically get internally updates this uh, uh, old uh, state root uh, uh, trees, Merkle trees, and uh, and 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 uh, stores uh, the references to the root hashes of these trees from the beacon state. And uh, if 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 it needs to prove an old uh, block by by number, then basically it internally finds the 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 slot the the beacon chain slot where it was referenced and uh, and gives a proofs to that through this uh, historic and state root structures, and then proves the actual execution header from that. So, yeah, and also there are this, uh, there's this init data which is needed for starting uh, at, from a checkpoint. And uh, so these are only stored uh, like once per epoch, uh, similarly to how it works uh, with the beacon chain clients. And uh, yeah, so this is just basically the genesis data and, 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 and fork data and, and, and the, the sync committee references to start with. And uh, yeah, there are always these trees that I mentioned that are internally updated, the historic trees. And yeah, that's what is needed for serving a fully functional GetLight client. Now I also mentioned that um, I also, uh, I also want to kind of move away from the old client-server topology because uh, so earlier I had this idea to fully rely on incentivization, monetary incentivization, and now I don't think that's such a good idea. It might be useful for some use cases, but uh, it would be better to just be a bit more flexible. And uh, also since now lots of new uh, client and server roles are possible. It just makes sense to uh, make uh, the new version of LES, LES 5, kind of be able to move in both directions. And, uh, and yeah, so, uh, so, so all, this, all, this, all this beacon chain data uh, can be propagated in a way that uh, the 
so the server can serve it in a form that another node can also use it for serving for the clients. And uh, yeah, the central part of the whole proof of stake, proof of stake logic, which is uh, the sync committee uh, syncer and the head, signed head propagator that's also uh, designed in a way that it doesn't even really care about whether it's running in a server or client. Uh, any node can basically propagate this data to further nodes if the nature of the connection allows this. And uh, yeah, basically that's all about it. And again, I don't want to like uh, go into the uh, fine details, but uh, just to give a quick overview. So this is this is this is this is what uh, the new uh, alias requests are. So there are uh, some requests for uh, uh, advertising, uh, like new uh, committee proofs and and transmitting them. So uh, and also for 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 propagating uh, the uh, sign beacon headers, and uh, yeah, there are. Uh, the get beacon slots and beacon slots uh, request pair is for propagating the data that is uh, that can be used for, for uh, serving further clients. And an, ex uh, uh, an example of that is this drawing in the middle, which is basically uh, so uh, from, from from the recent uh, state root of the recent header uh, through the state roots or historical root structures, you can prove a uh, we can prove a range of uh, uh, state roots or the state roots and uh, some fields of the the beacon state are transmitted. Uh, depending on where it is in the chain. Uh, if it's recent, then, then, then all the data is, is, is transmitted like this, this, this historical references and everything. If it's older, then only the uh, exec header and uh, like whatever is needed for actually proving the exec header. And for once an epoch also the init data is uh, transmitted here. So yeah, this, this, this data structure I just uh, talked about. And there's the get exec headers and exec headers uh, request pair, which uh, basically transmits. So this, this, this. So all of this, uh, what these drawings show, are basically SSZ multi proofs. And uh, yeah, uh, even when proving execution headers, now we use the, uh, use an SSZ multi proof to prove. In the simple case, like on the left side, there's. Uh, like just we proof from starting from the state root of the beacon header, the latest execution payload headers block hash, and from there we also transmit in the same uh, exact headers response. We transmit the execution header, and uh, from there on it's the same story as like with all the alias versions. So the execution data can be served from the exec header, and on the right side drawing this, there's a longer proof chain, which is an ex example for proving an old exec block, execution block. Uh, so from the state root, uh, there's the historical root structure, and then there's this historical bash structure, which proves another older state root structure, which is, contains 8K, 8, uh, 8,000 uh, old state roots. And yeah, from there, we prove an old execution header. So yeah, this is basically uh, the kind of proofs uh, we provide now. And yeah, we are almost done. So, uh, and quickly about uh, like future plans. Uh, so, uh, so propagating the state is kind of uh, easy because it's, it's linear and, and it just adds new data every block and, and, uh, and yeah, so it's going to be even cheaper and, and even the topology will be better. So hopefully there won't be any more bandwidth problems with the chain. But uh, for heavy state users, uh, I have plans to integrate uh, the portal network state protocol, maybe later also for the chain and everything. So yeah, it's already talked about this, but uh, yeah, so so this so uh, we can we can we can we can we can all, uh, also like slice up the chain and 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 the full nodes can can propagate uh, like slices of the uh, of the I mean not the chain of state slices of the state to the portal network uh, and uh, yeah basically. Uh, 
over time, probably it will be also fully interfaced. Uh, yes, uh, get get light kind will also uh, be fully interfaced to the portal network. And yeah, basically that's it. Thank you. <laughs>